What is up everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars video. So today is the official release for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So in this video I figured I would tell you guys the best methods that I've come across for becoming rich in LEGO Star Wars. Now there are over 400 some different combinations of characters that you can unlock and buy in this game along with different ships and cheat codes and just tons of different stuff and it all costs studs. So basically the major goal of this game is to become rich and become rich fast because if you don't have a lot of money you're not going to be able to afford 90% of the cool things that are in this game. So how do we do this? Well the very first tip I have is to basically just play the game. Play the game and save your money. The number one tip that I can give you guys right out of the bat is to save your money and don't spend it on characters right away. Trust me I know it's going to be super tempting I know because I made the mistake myself I just started buying characters left and right and then I found myself wondering why the grind was taking so long and it just became kind of tedious and it didn't feel like I was getting anywhere so don't buy characters trust me play the majority of the story mode first and a lot of the characters will come free to you and do the rest of the tips that I'm about to show you and trust me you'll be able to buy every character in the entire game before you know it so let's talk about some of the different upgrades that you can get and some of the ones that I recommend that you guys get as soon as possible so going under the core upgrades tab the first three upgrades are speedy sprint fast build and counter cash now you have to unlock one of each of these to unlock the next level and then the level after that so the ones I recommend are speedy sprint because obviously it's really handy you can get around the environments a lot faster fast builds a good one to have but I don't recommend getting this right away I would save off on fast build and then counter cash I would only put one point into counter cash because honestly this perk just sucks it just doesn't give you enough currency for countering and i played through episodes one through nine and beat all of it and there was only a handful of times where i ever countered i was normally just picking off enemies or running past enemies or killing enemies with a lightsaber and i was never countering that often and it's just not worth the kyber bricks early on so i would just avoid counter cash put one point into counter cash so that you can unlock the extra health. Then once you unlock the extra health, the next perk you wanna buy, which is the most important, is the attract studs perk. And I would upgrade it to level three and I would do this as fast as possible. So save up your kyber bricks and your studs because this is the first investment that you're going to want to make. Trust me, having this larger radius is going to make the world a difference. As you can see in this footage, I'm just sucking up all the studs. I don't even have to walk remotely close to them. I'm just running through the environment, running past things, and I'm basically just getting paid just to run around. It's great. So highly, highly recommend the attract studs perk. So next up, another good perk to have is both the Hero Terminal Expert and the Villain Terminal Expert. Upgrading these gives you the ability to either A, skip the terminals completely, or B, to get paid for doing so. So upgrading these all the way gives you 7,500 studs, and if you do this for every single terminal, that's going to add up really fast. Same goes for the villains. If you're going to be unlocking all these terminals throughout your playthrough, you might as well get paid to do it. So those are some good perks. And then another perk I recommend getting is this bounty hunter perk. It's called Hidden Bounties. If you upgrade it all the way, defeated enemies will drop 750 studs. So if you like to play with bounty hunters, you might as well get paid to defeat enemies because there are a lot of enemies in this game. You're always going to be in combat and you might as well get paid a little bit extra to defeat them. Another good currency perk to have is this one for the scoundrels. It's called Business Opportunist. You receive a stud discount when purchasing rumors and hints in the hollow projector. When you fully upgrade it, it gives you a 50% discount off all rumors and hints. So this is a good one to have if you want to go around getting collectibles. This one isn't necessary. It's just nice to have a little bit of a discount to get some of those rumors. So the next investment you're going to want to make is over in the extras tab. So outside of the attract studs perk, this is the most important investment that you're going to make. You want to go to the extras tab and the very first thing you want to do is save up to 1 million studs so that you can buy the times two stud multiplier. Now once you get this, things are going to start to speed up pretty drastically. Uh, you're going to notice that when you're doing your playthrough, your true Jedi meter at the top of the screen is going to fill up with pretty much no effort at all. It can be a bit of a grind and can take a little while to level up the true Jedi meter in each of the levels if you're doing it without this multiplier. So playing the entire game without studs times two, you're really going to be hurting for studs by the time you're done and you're going to notice that you just don't have that much money. So the very first thing you want to save up for is stud times two, which cost a million. 
So you may start to notice that you're starting to rack up some money, but trust me, you still don't want to buy characters yet. You really want to save up for times four because it will stack. So once you save up to two million studs, buy the times four, which will give you a combined times eight stud multiplier. So now you'll notice that it's picking up even faster, and then you guessed it, you want to save up for the times six and then the times eight. Now, as of recording this video, I haven't reached times 10 yet, but I'm getting pretty close. Once I hit times eight, things started to speed up drastically. I can't imagine how much money I'm going to make once I hit times 10. So when I turn them all on, I'm at a multiplier of 384. So 384 times every little stud that I get, that adds up so fast. So get those upgrades and just save your money and keep investing in those multipliers. And then trust me, once you have the multipliers, you're going to be able to buy all the different characters in no time. And spending a couple million studs on a bunch of characters is going to seem like chump change to you. You're going to have so much money you're not gonna know what to do with it. And then this next tip is for those of you that want a farming method. Everybody plays the games different. I still recommend that you guys just play through the game. That's probably the easiest way that you're going to get money. But if you want to sit here and just farm, there are a couple farming locations that are in the game. From what I found, if you go into these yellow doorways, sometimes when you go into the room, you can destroy everything and then leave and then come back into the room and everything will respawn. Now I tested this on a couple different planets and I got it to work sometimes, but it's not reliable everywhere you go. So you might be able to farm this everywhere and there might be an even better spot that I'm about to show you. But the spot that I found that works really well that I've been farming for a little bit is on Naboo. So to get to this location, you wanna start at the hangar and just follow where I'm going on screen. And it's literally right outside of the palace. Over here. And then all you have to do is go inside, destroy everything, walk outside, and then walk back in and you can destroy everything again. Now this adds up really fast once you start to get the multipliers. And this is one of the fastest methods that I found so far. With my 384 multiplier, I'm getting upwards of 4 million studs every single time I do this. So I just leave, come back in, blow up everything, I found the fastest way to do this is to unlock the Droidica. It's a good investment. The Droidica is just an absolute monster. Just zoom in with the Droidica and just mow everything down with its high rate of fire. You'll clear the room in no time, then just walk back out and rinse and repeat. Now, like I said, I've tested a number of different locations throughout the universe, but this was the most reliable because I was able to get everything to respawn every single time I did this. So if you want a good farming method, this is a good one to do. It's just a good way to save up money to get all the different characters I know some of the capital ships are upwards of like 2 million plus, so those can get a bit expensive. So in summary, the most important upgrade to get is the Attract Studs perk. You want to upgrade it to level 3, and then you want to save up your money for all these stud multipliers. And you want to stack them together, and you want to do this as soon as possible in your playthrough, because this is the fastest way to make money. I've only been playing a couple days, and I can already afford pretty much anything I want in the game. And this, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And that is going to do it for me, everyone. And I will talk to you all in the next video.